Dang, you guys like that thumbnail, huh? If you guys don't know, her name is Hyuna. She used to be in a girl group called 4Minute. And she also used to be part of a company called Cube Entertainment. She also used to be part of JYP Entertainment. This woman is a veteran in the K-pop scene. But not only that, she's always had sexy concepts. Now, she's always had sexy concepts and that's not really anything new. But what is getting really old and what's not new is all the hate comments that she's getting. Even though people know that she is going to do a sexy concept, people still criticize and bash her for just having out sexy songs and having sexy performances. So she recently performed at a festival called the Water Bomb Festival. I think she does this like every year. And then every year, the reason why they call it Water Bomb Festival is because like, I think at the middle of the performance, they like drench water on you. They put rain of water on you so that it adds like an effect in the performance to add like a sexy effect. And then of course, some women have like revealing clothing or white clothes. So it really reveals like what's underneath their clothes, which is like underwear and stuff and bras. And you know what, whatever, like that's their thing. That's the actual like part of the festival. And I don't get it. It's because she performs here every year and people know that she's the sexy type of K-pop idol. So why put in the hate? Why write the hate comments? And I'll tell you why. It's because they're jealous. It's because people hate because there's something wrong within themselves. Or maybe they're close-minded. Like who cares if someone puts on like a sexy concept? Like this isn't anything new. You know, a lot of female K-pop idols have done sexy concepts before. A lot of male idols have put on sexy concepts before. Look, <laughs> in some male idol, idol performances, they literally just take their shirt off at the end. And then everyone goes crazy. That's nothing normal. It happens literally to almost every single K-pop boy group. Like, it just happens. I don't think it's a good idea to judge another person's sexuality or how sexual they are in, on stage if you're a K-pop idol or performer or just a regular person at home. It's because I don't even think this is about sex at all. It's about judgment. People tell other people what to do in order to make themselves feel better. I think every person should be able to freely express themselves in every single way possible, whether you're a sexual person or not, whether you're on stage or not. And you know what, whatever you do in your private life or in public life, please make sure that you're just safe and it's consensual. That's it, it's that simple. It doesn't have to be this overcomplicated thing where it's like everyone should tell people what to do. No, just be safe and consensual. That's it. And last thing, you know what? If I had Yuna's body and performance and charisma, they, I'd freaking perform all day so that people can watch me. <laughs> all right, I'll end the video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on the video. Or if you guys are listening to this on a podcast, please don't forget to like and comment and like, just follow me. So thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.